Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Algorithm and its implementation. Bubble sort algorithm. So in this session, we are going to learn all about the bubble sort algorithm, design and flow chart, implementation and a live demonstration with homework. So first we start with the requirement, the objective of this algorithm implementation. Then we'll see the concept of an algorithm, the flow chart, the demonstration and execution with a homework with for some practice project. Before we get into the algorithm, let's see what is a bubble sort. Basically, the sorting is a kind of a data structure where we are going to organize the data as per our requirement. Bubble sort is a type of a sorting algorithm which helps sort and organize the data which is commonly used in computer science and bubble sort is based on the idea of repeatedly comparing pairs of adjacent elements and then swapping their positions if they exist in the wrong order. So basically it helps to keep on comparing the list of data you have and organize it in an ascending or descending order as per our requirement. The requirement of the bubble sort algorithm implementation in this example is first thing we need to get the user input and we have to decide what type of data type we are going to consider here. Since it is going to be a simple sorting algorithm, so we are going to use a single type of data type using array. So we are going to implement using array. Display the user input numbers. So once we are going to get the user input, we have to put it in an array and display the user input array. Sorting using for loop and display the list of sorted list of numbers. So let's take a look at the algorithm, how it works. Suppose this is our list of numbers so algorithm. Let's take a look at the example. We have a set of numbers in a list which is not sorted and we have to sort it out using bubble sort algorithm. So in it started from here in the first iteration where the first two numbers are in a bubble and are going to get through with the condition that which one is the least one because we are going to consider the sorting in an ascending order. So the first digit will be the least number. So we have to compare the 6 and the 1 number as the which one is the least. If it is not correct, the right side and the left side has to be compared. So left side has to be the least number. That means the this condition is not true. So it has to swap. The swapping the position will make it the 1 is in the least number and then in a correct position. So this is how it's gonna work in the first iteration. Now it will go to the next iteration where the bubble move to the next position from 6 and 2 numbers. It will check the condition and see which one is the least. 6 is greater than 2. Then it has to swap. Now swapping this position make it 1, 2 and 6. As you can see the red blocks it is swapped. Now these two numbers are in a correct position. Next iteration it will check the next bubble move the bubbles into the next position. Now here it is going to compare 6 and 3. Now again this condition is not true so it's gonna swap again. Now this is how it will compare and swap and move the bubbles forward. Now in the next condition as you can see the 6 and 7 is in the bubble. Now this condition is true. That means they are in a correct position. So now it's not going to swap. So it is in a green block. So this is the algorithm and the concept behind the bubble algorithm. Now this is the first cycle. Sometimes it is already sorted in the first cycle. Sometimes when the move it is, it is not still in, not in a sorted. So next cycle it will again retreat 
and check the numbers in the correct position and based on that it will swap so next let's look at the flow chart now how it start first thing we are going to have an example where the code will start and in the start position we are going to declare the classes and the method and the main method because when we say the start start means the pointer of the compiler is at the main method now what will have in the main method a call of a class and the method of that class now from here it will define an array which is contains the list of the numbers a collection of that data which has to be sorted out now once this array contains a number is going to compare the positions and checking the data comparing the data and if it is not true it will swap and using with the help of temporary variable and swapping now once it is true then it will set it there and if it is false it will swap and store it in a third type of array and display this is the algorithm is going to implement now let's take a look at the demonstration and the execution what we are going to do we are going to have a bubble sort class that contains a bubble sort method and a main method now bubble sort method will have a three blocks of code first block of code will get the user input second block of code is going to sort the list and the third block of code will display the list and inside the main method we are going to call bubble sort method so this is all about the concept and the fundamental of bubble sort algorithm let's get into the demonstration so let's get into the bubble sort algorithm implementation first we'll open the ide i'm using the eclipse ide here we we'll go to the file new new java project and here i'm going to give the example bubble sort algorithm demo is my project next and finish now here is my java project and here is my source here i'm going to define a new class is called bubble sort demo and it contains the main method if you want you can have your generate comment so that it will be ready for your label this is my class and this is my main method now first piece of block of code is we need to get the value from the user so before that let's define a method so here i'm going to define a method bubble sort now what i'm going to do here to make the visibility of the bubble sort method and it contains the values outside the method and inside the class i am going to define it in a static modifier now inside the main method we are going to start getting the value from the user so i am going to have the scanner type of value from the user now as you can see here it's showing some error so we need to fix it all we need to go and import the scanner util package it's fixed next let's print and get the value from the user what will be the size of your array or your list you can define it here and uh, i am going to get that value and define it in some numbers called input next now here we need to get the next int because it is a integer value now next is i want to have an array and define this array in integer num we have initialized the array size with the size of the number the user entered for the array now let's make a for loop to read that now here we are going to print the value from the this will print the 
array size and list of your data from the user input now here if you see array before or unsorted unsorted list so this is the size of an array which user entered first we entered some number like five that we have the five number of digits we need to sort it out and this will enter and display the now next step is we need to print it and save it in another type of uh, array so for that now this piece of code will simply display the value if you want to check you can simply call that method and execute it so this is simply displaying the unsorted list now next piece of code we are going to sorting the digits so for sorting the digit as we have discussed in the flow chart all we need to swap the values so let's write another piece of code where we are going to define a number first it get the length of your sorting which is actually we know it is you can just simply use that number and uh, for loop int i another loop where we are going to have the index read the first two index for the first iteration int increment next iteration we need to have another index which is reading from the another number so n minus i like i is equal to 0 and j equals to 1 so this will read the next value and compare it and start the next iteration if the condition is true and if now here in the third iteration we are going to compare the array of j minus i j minus 1 for the last value right hand side value from the first hand left hand side value and the right side value I check their indexes and swap to the temp variable so here we are going to swapping and closing the sorting block now this will simply swap the numbers if the condition is true and put it in a temporary and change, exchanging the indexes of the number. So this is all about your sorting implementation. Now next we have to display the sorted value. So the same way the way we did it for the unsorted you can do it for the sorted. All you need to simply getting the and for i equals to zero the first condition your array reading array indexes This will read your array just to make a simple presentation and here is your closing parenthesis and I think it is ready to execute so what we can do here now First, we get the values from the user 
the size of the array and the list of the numbers the unsorted numbers second piece of block here we swap the indexes in case if the condition is not true put it in a temporary variable and in the third piece of block we display the sorted values now let's execute and see how it works you can you have to put the size of an array suppose i gave h now it start the index starts from the zero make sure you enter the it will give you the indexes and nine now first it display your unsorted list which we have entered now this is now sorted so we have seen the demonstration and the execution of bubble sort algorithm and its implementation using arrays and for loop now it's homework time so what you can do we have seen the bubble sort implementation using array and for loop now if you know about collections you can use other kind of structures interfaces and classes and methods available in the collection frameworks called linked list and list and trees so all you can use with the help of these uh, with the help of these collection frameworks you can also implement the bubble sort insertion sort and the quick sort type of algorithms Let's play around. If you face any issues or problems or want to help, you can reach us on techranch2019 at gmail.com. So far in this course, we have learned online testing tool, bubble sorting algorithm. In the next session, we are going to share about online scale converter example in implementation. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and Let's make coding fun. Thank you.